Hello again, welcome to the next video for Amazon Selling Hustle. In this video, we are going to review product listing. Uh, listing photos, a picture is worth 10,000 sales. When you're doing your listing photos, make sure that you spend as much time and invest as much as possible without going overboard, but you don't want to under estimate the quality of a listing photo to getting you to that next level the listing photo is the first thing your customer sees it's the first thing a prospective customer sees when they're shopping on amazon now yes we have to rank on page one and that's always going to be the primary focus is to get your listing to rank on page one so you have to learn what your keywords are multiple keywords that people will search to find your product and then create your listing so that you come up when people search those terms but once they found your product what will get them to click on you to buy you 80 percent of the time it's your listing photos 20 percent of the time it's your price your price is just they don't even care what the product looks like it's too low to pass up but 80% of the time it's your listing photos so your listing photos have to be great and again a picture is worth 10,000 sales so in this video we'll review as much as I can about listing photos for you so that you're successful in finding listing photos um, images are the number one people the reason someone will click on your listing the image has to sell your product it has to be sharp it has to be attractive it has to speak to the customer it has to be clear be willing to spend money to get high quality attractive images for your listing the better the images you want the the likelier you will have to invest in those images okay so you can get free images often you can get free images free stock images from your factory if you ask for them now you may need to edit them a little bit on your own um, you you're going to need certain um, certain st styles of, of images I've given them titles uh, to help you manage them um, you're going to need um, to get three a minimum of two for everything I'm gonna say it's a minimum of two when you create them um, the reason that you need a minimum of two is because at the end of creating your listing and when your listing is live you're going to need to try split testing out and split testing will help you figure out what photos better than uh, and that way when you're split testing you're determining a higher percentage of sales versus versus the other option so it's an A versus a B your A photo might look like this. Your B photo might look slightly different. You let them run for a week, four weeks. Does one do better than the other? So we'll get into that in a few seconds here. But in order to do split testing, if you want to do split testing, you need a minimum of two photos of each style. So uh, where can you get photos? I get them from Fiverr.com. Go to the outsourcing section and the creation section of, of your course. And I talk about sourcing photos for your listing. What should you budget? I budgeted $100 for my photos. I actually didn't end up spending that. I spent about $75 for my photos. Completely happy with all the photos that I got out of it. I got about eight different photos. I only used five. Um, I did some split testing for about two months and eventually found that I wasn't wasn't um, monetizing any different at the end I found my perfect photos um, they missed the listing uh, photos that I got were three main images now what is a main image a main image is um, your primary image the first image that people see when they're shopping on Amazon so for this particular one her main image is this it's the exercise balls the colors they have them in picture of the box the pump some posters that you get with it kind of a bundle so that's the main image you want your product to be in there you want it to have a high quality resolution so that when Amazon customers are shopping 
the tools work. If you have a low quality resolution, your image might not actually upload to Amazon, or if it does, it might not actually have, the zoom in tool might not actually function. So make sure that you have a high quality image so that people can zoom in and actually read things that are written in the actual image. Okay, so that's your main image. Now, does she have any other main images? Not really, the rest of them are different style. Let's look at somebody else's listing and see um, if there is another kind of main image. Uh, the most, Amazon prefers main images of just the product, so this would be a good one right here. It's just the product, the guys, this person, this lister has one photo and one photo only of just the product. It's not that great of a quality photo. Um, look at the the reflection from the lighting on there you can kind of see the person in there a couple lights in there um, the pump but it is a white background photo people can zoom in they can read the the brand uh, the private label on the product there's an actual website on there <clears throat> so I might just check the website and buy it direct Amazon doesn't like that so because they don't want you to steer customers away uh, plus if you want people on you you want you don't want to you don't want to make Amazon man, mad so just stick to uh, stick to um, not driving them to other sites but um, that's just a single image there so that's your main listing photo this is a, this is a great photo so you want something like this straight on white background uh, then you want to have one that maybe has a little more in it like the previous one that we saw has the box has a, maybe the color scheme or something like that maybe has a badge but those are pretty simple pretty great uh, main images here's another main image can we zoom in so right away I wonder if we can zoom yeah so we can zoom in looks good I like that you get this little base to hold it some sort of some sort of tubing and handling to do exercises little badges to show you what comes with it so again this is another decent main image pretty straightforward it's the products and your main image is the products okay so the next thing that you'll want to let me jump out of that we're here uh three main images if you like my product doesn't have sides every side looks the same because it's a ball uh but if you have a product that has different sides or different angles to it then you'll want to have three different angles of your image uh, for example you may want your image to be straight ahead a flat shot you may want your image to be on a slight angle so a flat shot may be straight ahead a slight angle maybe like that and then you may want maybe uh, some sort of full angle where you can get the full fullness of the product into the image zoomed in a little bit more or whatever the case may be so uh and work with work work with the freelancer that you've hired from fiverr.com if you're going to do it yourself that's awesome as well you can do it yourself if you are a photography expert or if you just have a passion for doing photos and you have the tools that's great um do it yourself just make sure the image quality is, is excellent um and invest time and invest some money into making sure that it is excellent uh, because a crappy image will um you'll be 10x down i've seen people lose at least 50 if not 60 percent of their sales because their images were not attracting their customers um next step is action photos uh you need two of those i put one badge photo and i put one fab photo at the end of the day what i'm talking about here is i'm talking about how many you will actually upload so you'll want at least three uh, main images uploaded, at least two actions uploaded, one badge uploaded, and one fab upload uploaded. An action photo, I put sex cells, use girls only. Really, that's that's just my opinion, not because I'm a guy, but because um, studies show females that are using any product have a better um, propensity to sell the product uh, because girls can relate and guys can relate to the product sometimes when you put like for example if i put a muscle bound guy using this exercise ball it might come across as not a product that 
a female would want to buy. But if I put a female on it, a man would want to buy it. A female would want to buy it. They'd be both, you know, so you're, you're capturing more of the market. Um, action photos are generally the photo of the product in use. So here's a fantastic version of an action photo where they've collaged it so that they could, they only use up one spot, which is a great use of space on Amazon. So they were able to combine six photos, action photos in one collage, add a little bit of a title into it make exercise a part of your day that's their hook as well that's kind of their um their uh their their um like in listing title we we name that particular line a hook we uh let's see if i have it here yeah so your your slogan their that might be their product slogan their hook um their uh, there was another name i had had for it but um yeah uh so this is a great action photo it shows Lady using it here, lady using it there, lady using it there with her son, another lady using it there, lady, a pregnant lady using it there, another lady using it there. Um, here's another action photo with some badges, better exercise ball, better exercise experience. So another hook, another slogan, spiral anti-skid. So this is called a fab photo. It's kind of a combination of action with the fab. Fab stands for feature, advantage, and benefit. So features and a spiral anti-skid skid design doesn't really give you advantage or benefit so it's just kind of the f so more of a badge if you will strong bearing capability um, environmental friendly material quality assured uh, accessories so those are little badges on there it's kind of combining it all into one uh, stability ring is an accessory so she's highlighting her accessories that come with it and then more badges uh, stability ring so a product badge okay she's demonstrating it so it's still a combination of everything all in one so she's kind of gone with the theme of everything all in one for the most part except for even her main image still has it still has a combination of everything all in one you can do it that way sometimes people get I got honestly I like this these photos I think they're great so and it just means you got to try multiple ways and one way is never the right way um per se so you just have to you do have to invest and if you can invest in 20 photos for your listing that just gives you so much more to test the market with to see you know you may test five main images and go whoa when i tested this one okay my sales were a 10 a 10 a 10 a day then when i then the next week i changed to this one my sales went up to 12 a day then i went to the third one it went down to eight a day I went to the fourth one and went up to 15 a day. I went to the fifth one and went down to 10 a day. So I would obviously stick with the 15 a day and see if I maintain that. Again, you might then do it a period of four weeks and then you might switch it and do another one for a period of four weeks or two weeks and two weeks, but you got to do, and we'll talk about split testing later uh, in a full video, but that's the purpose of photos and the test that you got to run and the value of sales and the percentage of sales that increases. Um, so now when you have your product photos and you're all purchased them and you're ready to upload them onto your uh, listing, you're going to simply just go into the images section. Uh, it takes, once you've uploaded in a, a photo, it can take anywhere from 15 minutes to a day, 24 hours. They do, the photos that you upload do need to be reviewed. Um, it has a total of main image plus eight spots, but I'm pretty certain that all eight spots don't arrive, uh, don't show up. So we'll put an action photo next. We will put um, another action photo next. Then we'll throw in another main photo. So we have that one. We'll put in this one. Okay, and then we will go to a fab photo, feature advantage benefit photo, and then we're going to put it a badge. We're going to put in the badge at the very end, and badges are great. You can actually incorporate badges like these into your product photo. If you have anyone who has Photoshop and wants to do transparent and just, I mean, you can even do it yourself. It's really easy to do. Uh, you just have to download a photo editor. I've done it on my phone really fast and just take in badges and put them on there. In fact, um, if you use 
a free site. I think it's called spark.adobe.com. Let me just show you here in my tools. Probably at my bottom, spark.adobe.com. There you go. This is a free site. You can take photos. You can add in badges onto those photos, and it still maintain the high quality images. Um, you can even create photos using this uh, particular website. So spark.adobe.com. You can create posts. You can start from scratch, or you can use existing ones. I would just start from scratch. They have a lot of free um, uh, images on here as well uh, that are not uh, trademarked or registered. You can choose the size here, so whatever you will use. Um, they tell you on here, I believe, what size they have to be. So a thousand pixels by at least five hundred. Okay, so let's just go with let's just go with um, let's go standard options. Um, Let's go with landscape three by two. I'm not even familiar, to be honest. I'm not an expert in this stuff. Spark video slide. I don't want spark video slide. Let's go with let's go with landscape three by two. Square. Sure, square. One by one. Next, you can choose photos. You can search photos. Maybe there's a free photo for exercise ball. Oops. Nope. Um, let's go with stability ball. Oh, what do we got? Uh, yeah. So Pixab Pixabay has a stability ball photo. I think I downloaded that one as one of my action, action photos. It throws a tag on here. So you can actually delete this. I'll delete that in a sec. Remove. Um, let's go with delete. Delete that. Delete. I just want to add a badge to this, show you how easy it is. Let's add a photo. We'll go um, upload a photo right here. We'll upload a badge. I don't know if this is transparent, but you can get transparent badges on. There we go. Yeah, it's transparent. It's just meaning it's not going to have a white border. So there we go. So we can put a badge right there. Then we can download this photo and Second, it takes one second to download it. It'll pop up right here. Saving your post. Pop up for me. There it is. So let me just go like this. We'll put it on my desktop. Right there. My post, it's called. So now when I go to my listing photos, um, I can now, I can have this plain badge as one of my listing photos. That it's fine. That is absolutely fine. People might love that, but I need if I want to split test it with a second one, I may split test it with um, that particular one. So let's choose that one instead. Uh, it's on my desktop, and it's right there. Let's see if that was too big of an image. There we go, and voila. So, I mean, that's something that you can do yourself. You don't have to hire somebody to do it. But if you want to, again, it's about if yours is amateur, you don't want amateur. You want professional because photos are worth 10,000 sales. Remember, every time you're thinking of your photos, is it worth 10,000 sales? And I'm always looking at my photos right now. These photos are not worth 10,000 sales. Please don't um, take these photos into the context of what I'm talking about. Um, you want to get them professionally done. I just really just saved a bunch of photos for a product of different variety that I want to convey a message. But the actual photos I go for all the time are high quality photos. I go with the with my um, three main images, two actions, two badges, one fab, and then when I upload, it's in this particular fashion: three, two, one, one. Uh, but they are are. $100 in photos spend for me. And again, when you go back to the video uh, about outsourcing it, I will spend $25 a photo if I have to. And I will spend $200 on photos if I have to. I've not had to spend that much before. I've been able to get great Photoshop done on my photos. I've never had to do real, I've never done real photos before, real studio photos on any of my products because all my products have been very happy with the sales and performance. 
Doesn't mean I won't split test for studio photos in the future to spice up my listing, but you know, don't fix, don't fix a bad, don't fix a good thing scenario. All right, guys, that's it for listing photos. Pretty straightforward. Forward. Um, make sure you're looking at your competitors' listings and checking out exactly. You know, go through as many as you can and get good ideas about your listing photos. Uh, share that information with a freelancer that you're using, whether it's local, somebody you know, or somebody from Fiverr. Uh, all the resources for this particular section are in the resource center. Jump over there. It is a lot more information there to help you uh, be successful with your listing photos. And um, if they're not working, keep trying new photos until things start to get better and better and better because the listing photo is worth 10,000 sales. That's how people will click on your listing is based on the photo. So take your time with that when you're searching for uh, list quality listing photos. That's why Amazon advertises photos as the main thing. And then from there, people see price second. And then from there, they'll read the um, listing title. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.